A Silicon Valley-based tech entrepreneur has an outlandish plan to fix all of California's problems by dividing it into six new states. Tech venture capitalist Tim Draper, who made a killing on Hotmail and Skype, has now turned his attention to drawing new borders in his home state of California. Draper blames California governmental stagnation on its massive population, currently just north of 37 million people. He claims if the state government didn't have to pander to so many different groups with such widely varying interests, things would run much more smoothly. Additionally, he wants to correct California's disproportionate representation in the Senate. The new plan would sextuple the number of senators in the region from 2 to 12. The new arrangement would create six states. Jefferson, prospective population just under a million. North California, prospective population around 3.5 million. Central California, around 4 million. South California, around 10 million. West California, around 11 million. And Silicon Valley, around 6 million. If the plan were enacted in terms of household income, Silicon Valley would instantly become the richest state in the union while Central California would become the poorest. Skeptics charge that the plan is less about fairness and more about liberating Silicon Valley. By cutting the rest of the state loose, young Bay Area tech billionaires won't have to shell out as much tax money. Poorer, less innovative regions like Jefferson and Central California would have to fend for themselves. The impact on national politics would be significant. Voter data from the 2012 election indicates that Draper's plan would create two deep blue states in Silicon Valley and West California, and two red states, Central California and Jefferson. South California and North California would probably be blue as well due to one or two population-dense counties within an otherwise GOP-leaning area. Draper needs 500,000 signatures to get the measure on the ballot, and he says he has 1.3 million. But even if California's voters do pass the measure, and it would only take a majority vote, it would still have to be approved at a federal level, leaving this plan to redraw state lines firmly on the drawing board.